Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can program a calculator with a graphical user interface. For this we are using tkinter, which is a Python package. First we are importing the tkinter package. Then we are initializing the root variable by calling the tk constructor. The root variable is the root widget or window. With the geometry method, we are defining the width and height of our root window. We can set the title of the window with the title method. So let's start the calculator. And here you can see we have the right title and also you can see the size of the window. Next we are initializing the calc input variable. We are calling the text constructor with the root variable width and height and the form. In the form we have to define a type and size. Width and height here is not the pixels, but it is related to the font size. This means that one means the size of one character and width means how many characters we can fit in one row. For example here we can fit in 19 ones. In the next line, we are defining that the input field spans across three columns. So as you can see here, we have three columns. Next up, we will set our result variable, which will save our calculation results. All the following functions I will explain in a second. First, we will look at how we can create all the buttons. Let's first have a look at our one button. In this line we are filling in the root and the text which is 1. This is what you can see here. Then the command is what gets executed when we are clicking on the 1. So we have a lambda expression which will call the input method with the parameter 1. Then again we define the width and height of the element and also the font type and size. In line 21, we are defining that the button 1 should reside in row 1 and in column 0. We are doing the same for all other numbers. We also have our operators, plus, minus, divided and multiplied. These are also calling the input function, but this time with their symbols as strings as the parameters. The equals button will call the calculate method and the clear button will call the clear method. For the clear button I also changed the colors. So if we scroll to the right you can see that for background BG I set the color red and for foreground I set the color white. The last line of code starts up our window. So now let's scroll up and look at our calculating functions. Okay, let's first look at our calculate method. So we are retrieving the input, which is happening here. So from the input field, we are getting the string. One means that we are getting the string from the beginning until the end. The eval method will evaluate the string. That means it will pick the string and turn it into this and then it will calculate it and save the result in the result variable. Next we want to empty our input field so that it can be filled with the result string. For this as parameters we have to set one and end so that the whole row gets deleted from the beginning to the end. Now we are inserting our result starting at the beginning of the line. In the input method we are casting the entered number into a string and then we are putting it into the input string. And finally the clear method empties the whole input field. If you want to learn more about tkinter you can have a look at the documentation which I will link in the description box. You will find all the code on my GitHub repository, which I will also link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!